Good Tuesday. Uh, my name is Tony Liu and I'm a business attorney specialized turning legal issues into business solutions. And I just came back from lunch and I feel great. We're going to talk about posting on the social media. What you should do so that you will not get in trouble. Two things uh, that I recommend. One is to uh, train your employees or yourself if you don't have one uh, the employees at this time uh, about the basic concept of trademark and copyright when common uh, occurred issues for the small business owners and entrepreneurs. Uh, patent is a very complicated uh, topic. If you have an uh, issue with patent, always consult with your local patent attorneys. Yeah. Uh, a good place to learn uh, about you know copyright and trademark or intellectual property in general is uh, called uh, Nolo Press N O L O P R E S S. They are the publisher for books that are designed for non attorneys and they are uh, easily understandable. And uh, those books for the purpose of familiar with the basic concept, okay. So what are the trademarks and copyrights? Uh, trademark is any words or symbols uh, or slogan used to identify the source of the product or services. Okay. Copyright on the other hand is to protect the original expression in a fixed format. For example, uh, video, music, designs, books, uh, those are common examples. You know, we, knowing the difference between those two, let's do, let's go to uh, number, step number two, and which is you need to have a process or policies uh, for your companies when posting on the social media. What do I mean? Um, we understand we all understand that you know nowadays we don't just uh, post words on the social media. We also include music. We also include images. Uh, sometimes movie clips, just to make posting more interesting. That you can grab audience attention. So that we are, we need to be more careful uh, as to what we put on there. Okay. So first thing you you ask is uh, six questions you need to ask yourself. Okay. Is there is a posting that you're gonna put to promote your product or services? Does that post um, have known or potential third-party trademark? Okay. If it yes, do you have a permission to use it? Okay. Now, if no, then the next question you should ask is: Does your post uh, contain music, video, or images okay these three generally that deals with the issue of copyrights okay if it yes do you have a permission to use it if no the next question is now if you create this artwork uh, by yourself or hire somebody to do it you need to make sure that the material that they use does not infringe on third party uh, intellectual property rights Okay, get a contract, get approved, something in document that's showing that they have a right so that you are protected. The last one is um, does your post comport to the platform term of use? For example, if you're gonna post the video on YouTube, YouTube has, has a very strict guideline. They don't want to get involved with any laws of dealing with intellectual properties because of your video. That's that's the two things that you need to do. Okay, get an adequate training for yourself or your employee about the basics of the intellectual property rights. And the second one is create a system, a process to go through, so that each time you want to post something on on the social media, there's a checklist that you you can go through it and make sure to eliminate um, the risk of infringing upon people's uh, uh, copyrights, okay? So that's a two steps process
uh, that I recommend to do. And um, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button above.